Void Night Games. And today we're looking at a prototype because this is the box cover yes. art. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Forgotten Depths. And so I'm guessing it's going to be on Kickstarter or it's going to yeah, be October. available in October. In October there will be a Kickstarter. So this is pretty exactly. early. And so we're looking at concepts all and all prototypes. Yeah. So give me like a general overview of like why, what's, what is this game? Yeah. So in terms of the uh, backstory, uh, human settlements, it's a fantasy world, but human settlements are just small villages and hamlets with a lot of space between them. And out in that space between are these giant constructions from a past age. Okay. So not much is known about them. They're there, they're in ruin. And your community sends you out as explorers to go find relics in those places. Nice. Uh, but they also can tell when trouble is brewing inside. And so in this case, they've sent you into one that's nearby that has something <laughs> going on at the bottom. It's drawing forces to itself. You've got to go in there. So the game itself has three levels that come with it the ruins, caverns, and subterranean architecture. Oh, wow. It's, it actually is quite a bit of content. Yeah. And in terms of actual gameplay, it plays out in two main aspects. Okay. There's exploring and encountering. So during exploring, you're doing this tile laying that you see here. So um, you, will, you would start with the start tile. I've laid some out here that wouldn't be there necessarily. And the rules around placing a legal a legal placement, or that you can trace an edge, uh, trace a path to that edge, and uh, connect walls to walls. Sure. So certain things that are out there, elements in the dungeon will block access to edges beyond them. Monsters are here. Uh, this is an example of a feature. So, <clears throat> if you ever draw a tile that you're not allowed to place legally, you've lost because okay. you reached a dead end. So, as you draw and place you and your companion are sort of discussing, well, we could put it here and keep a free edge open this way, and, or maybe over here we could finally connect that up. So other considerations are you're trying to build your way into these legendary locations. So up here you can see that there's these stacks of cards. Each is sort of a discrete event or locale. Sure. And you've heard rumor of these things. You don't know where they are in the dungeon, but if you can build the right configuration of map tiles oh. with these end end puzzle piece looking pieces, like here's a start. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. I see. Okay. So that's a start of this one. And if you could comprise that. Could it be that one or no? It could. You could say, I'm, I'm going to hold off on claiming that and try to build that one I first. See. So. But, oh, I didn't make it, so I'll call it that. And you would bring this stack over to you and resolve through, down through it one card at a time. Sure. So, backing back up, three levels, they get harder as you go, obviously. Yeah. So you need to upgrade your heroes as you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, and there's two ways to do that, all coming from what you discover and, and get in your explorations. So if I ex explored like a, a knife or something, it would go into my character's belt or something? Yeah, there's some treasure in here. Treasure? There's, there's there's XP at play, so there's two, there's, I'll, I'll explain, there's two ways you can upgrade your character okay. through items and abilities. Nice. Items can only be found, so there's two chests in every level, so you've got to kind of fight your way to them. Here's an example. It's guarded slightly. Oh yeah, I do see a treasure there with yeah, the and monster a monster in symbol. there with it. Mm. So you've got to locate it and then be healthy enough to go take out that monster <laughs> to get it. Um, and there are some in the, in the legendary locations. Abilities uh, are for purchase when you're between levels. There's a simple oh, okay. leveling up process where you'd go from a level one to level two in your health automatically, and then hopefully you've banked out enough XP from your discoveries to be able to purchase an ability. Um, most of what you'll find are the features and the monsters. Yeah. Here's an example of a couple monsters. Sure. Um, they're kind of cute monsters. They're kind of cute. The <laughs> illustrations are beautiful. It's really pretty. There's a woman, Marion Churchland, who I've, I learned of through her work for Image Comics. Oh, nice. And so she's doing the illustrations for me, which is oh, great. She's wonderful. That's, that's really pretty. It's like, it's like a little mushroom guy yeah. with a smiley the, face. The knee-high <laughs> fungal humanoids are those guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great name. So, so you might you might you might flip them up when you're yeah, exploring. Yeah, you flip them up when you explore. You just okay. Uh -oh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to uh, encountering one of these features, and then I just draw what's here and resolve what it tells me. Oh this, man! This one, the scrying bowl, lets me look at the next three. Oh, and you can so, plan. And then you plan ahead. So there's there's quite a bit of thematic 
aspects built into the levels. They're, I call them ecologies. Each one is themed differently. Oh, nice. So this would clear and you'd have a whole other set of cards for the and next level. for the next level. Ah, so that is lots of content because yeah. it's going to change every time. It is, it is. Wow, that's really cool. So this is all coming to Kickstarter. In October. In October. Yeah perfect time for Halloween and monsters and like right, cool right. things happening. Right. And how many people will it play? It plays one to three. Okay. And one to three. One to three. I chose to run with three heroes uh, for the creation of the game. Nice. Not, I wanted to keep the game from getting unwieldy. It's yeah. my first release. Nice. And I'm sort of bolting on complexity no, rather good. than the other way around. Of course. I've run the other way around. That's tried smart. to before. Yeah. So there's three heroes. Originally, I built it as a two-player game, actually, but okay. from player feedback, you've got three heroes, I want to play a three-player three game. Okay. So I rearranged the combat, which was keeping that from happening, and managed to scale it down to one or two or up to three. And the only thing you've got to do, actually, when, you, when you're facing something here that has a, a, oh, a, difficulty? a health value, ah. you just go one-player, two-player, three-player. That's easy. It's very simple. No yes. rules change beyond that. It just makes them a little bit harder. Yeah. Cool. And so we'll look for it in October. Do you have a price point, you think? Should be 35 a box. Oh, that's not bad yeah, it's for all that cards. content. Yeah, it's mostly cards. Yeah. So very cool. That's what I'm shooting for. And so we'll all get to see it more then. And we, more you'll post on BGG, I'm sure. And I will. I all will. around. We're going to be looking for Forgotten Depths. This will be the lovely cover. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much, Peter. You bet. Thank you.